everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in today's video I am doing a little change around of Aspen's cage. So Aspen is now two years and two months and he does struggle to get around his cage quite a bit now. As you can see he's a little wobbly on his feet, bless him. So I thought it was time to start adapting his cage to his needs as he's getting older. He's becoming a lot more unbalanced and he does fall over quite a lot now which obviously is really sad. Um, so I just wanted to change his cage and make it a lot more simpler for him. Take out any levels or like anything that is hard that's going to hurt him if he falls. Um, mainly the bendy bridge over the grapevine, I don't know if you can see that, it's quite a drop to the bedding if he falls off it. So. I am going to simplify everything and make it all one level and make sure all his essentials are really close together so that he doesn't have to do a lot of travelling around. So once Aspen was safely in his carrier with a lot of bedding, I got started and started taking everything out of the cage. Once I finished taking everything out, I then just went through the bedding to check there wasn't any chews left in there and then I started to really, really compress down the bedding. Um, the more compressed the bedding is, the easier it's going to be for him to walk on um, instead of it being really soft and like sinking every time he walks on it. So I made it really, really compressed so that it was really easy for him to walk on. I've also noticed that Aspen has stopped burrowing. Um, of course, hamsters are ground dwellers and they usually burrow underground and make loads of tunnels um, and chambers where they sleep and eat. But unfortunately, as Aspen has got older, I think this has just got too tiring for him and instead he just likes to make a little nest on top of the bedding um, and he just sleeps in that, usually in a little plant pot or he'll sleep under his bendy bridge, which you'll see later. So after all of the bedding was compressed, I started adding back in all of his items. So I started off with the wheel and just put that in the middle of the cage. He doesn't really use his wheel, actually he doesn't use his wheel at all now. Um, he just usually sits on it and has a little clean, um, but he never actually runs in it anymore. Um, but because hamsters are prey animals, their cages need to be quite cluttered and they need to feel safe in their cage with like no open spaces. So because of this, I just put the wheel in there to fill up the cage a bit more. His wheel isn't really a hazard to him since it's quite an enclosed wheel and also it's not far off the bedding. So he's not going to hurt himself getting on and off the wheel. Then I added in his cork log and willow tunnel. Again, I pushed these right into the bedding so that they are lower to the ground. And then I gave him a new platform for his food and water. These still don't have stilts because annoyingly I'm still out of stilts and they haven't been delivered yet, which is really annoying. Amazon has like some delay on them. Um, so I haven't been able to get them, which is really annoying. Instead of making his bendy bridge go over something, I just laid it flat across the bedding so that he still has that to enjoy but it's just flat on the ground and he can't fall off of it. So here I'm just trying to figure out where to put everything because I want all of his essentials to be quite close together so that he doesn't have to travel too far and next I'm adding in his sand bath which again he doesn't really use a lot now but obviously it's still an essential for hamsters so I do leave it in there um, as you can see I'm also filming a TikTok for this video as well
so I do a great job of blocking the camera right here um, but anyway I just added little bits in there's another piece of grapevine in there and then I also put in his bendy bridge I put this into his sandbar so that it's easier for him to get in and out and then I put in his little toilet which is the only bit of his sandbar that he uses then I'm adding in his little ceramic hide which he loves um, I also decided not to add in his grapevine just because it's not a flat grapevine it's quite a twisty one and it was a bit of a fall hazard so I just didn't want to risk anything so I decided to leave that out um, but here I am adding some moss as just another texture to him I mean it probably won't make a difference to him but I still like to give him the most enriching setup possible even if he doesn't use it I'd rather he have it than not have it if that makes sense Although older hamsters obviously do get tired and they may not be as active, it is really important that we still provide the enrichment for them because we don't want them getting bored and stressed and making more damage to themselves. So it's still important to provide just as an enriching setup for them, just make sure that it's really easily accessible and that there's no fall hazards. So after adding in all of the moss I then added in some leaves and forage, um, Aspen isn't really fussed by forage and he never really has been um, but it does give that really nice look to a cage so of course I still wanted to add it in and I just sprinkled this all over the cage. I think I used birch leaves, nettle leaves and I also used some tiny flowers flower mix. As you can see the flowers make such a big difference they just tie everything together and add such a cute little pop of color um, but still also make the cage really natural and that's what I love about having flowers in the cage they're just so they look so nice in the cage So next I'm adding sprays and unfortunately Aspen actually can't eat the sprays um, because of his illness, he's on a complete soft diet um, but I did add them in just so that I could take some pictures. I know this is probably really bad but it just looked empty without the sprays and I still really wanted to post this setup on my Instagram so that people could see like an accessible hamster cage and like get ideas from it um, and obviously with any normal hamster you'd still add sprays. Um, so I did add in sprays just for the pictures but I did end up taking them out at the end. And then the cage was done and I just needed to fill up his water bowl and here is what the cage ended up looking like. Still really natural and really nice for him. So then I got Aspen out of the carrier and I did cover the front of the carrier with a blanket just because Aspen is a really nervous and scared hamster and he's a lot calmer when I just have him in a quiet dark place. Um, hence the blanket was just over the front of the carrier. And then I of course put Aspen back in his enclosure and oh my gosh, I literally saw a noticeable difference straight away in him. He was walking around the cage so much easier, he was even exploring a lot more because there's not many things to climb on and like not many things he has to climb over to get to other places. 
Um, so he really enjoyed exploring it, bless him. But I must admit he did absolutely pass out after exploring his cage and he slept for ages. I was actually worried, um, but I think he was just really tired because this is the most he's done in a while. So that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope it gave you some like tips and tricks on how to adapt your hamster's cage when they get older. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video and I will see you very soon in our next video. Bye!